Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another paracord tutorial for you today. We're doing the curling millipede, which is a really nice pattern, but we are using a specific type of paracord to make it look a little more special. And we're doing the rainbow curling millipede. Okay, So we're using a uh, special type of paracord and in that its coloration is kind of, it's got this really cool tie dye effect or like dyed effect where it fades from one color to another. So this whole strand in the middle here is that's one strand. This is not, you know, uh, different strands of paracord. And because of the next get in focus here, because of the nature of the paracord, you get this really beautiful rainbow effect, right? And I thought this um, curling millipede pattern would be it's a really great way of showcasing this uh, type of paracord because you've got these nice, you know, horizontal knots going through, and you can show the uh, gradation of the color there. Okay, so that's the back side, and here's the presentation side again. Overall, quite a nice effect, especially when it's closed like this. So yeah, overall very nice. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing today. Hope you guys will enjoy this one. And uh, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, so I got my paracord set up I'm using uh, just the single cow's hitch two strand core. Okay, if you're not sure how to do that again, I will always have that link in the description down below. I've got my paracord ready. I've got uh, black and my rainbow kind of tie dyed paracord. Had to use the uh, Manny method to connect this one because um, some par certain paracords, they don't join very well and that might be ind uh, indicative of the, um, the quality. But anyways, uh, again, if you don't know Manny method, I will link that in this video as well. Okay, so let's start out with our paracord. I'm gonna go behind here and here. I'm sorry for my hands, they're a little thrashed up, but anyways. So um, yeah, got my midpoint behind. I've got about four feet of each, but I'll annotate the exact amount used as always. So we're gonna start off with the black. The first knot will be a little tricky um, because it won't be be a little finicky, but once you get the first one in, it's pretty easy. So with the black, we're gonna make an S like this, okay? Then you're gonna take the rainbow side, you're gonna go over across the S like that. And you're gonna bring it behind here, okay? And then you're going to take the end of your rainbow color and go through the back of that S there and out the front. Okay. So then from here, you're going to tighten everything. Now try to hold the, um, the join part behind your bracelet or behind the core. You want to keep that there to keep it looking good and push everything up. Okay. Just gonna tighten everything nicely. Okay, so that's the first knot, and you're just gonna repeat that process. So again, make the S, bring the colored one in front, go behind. See this time I'm just gonna grab it here. I'm not gonna go all the way to the end. Grab it here, pull it through, and then make that cinch that up. Okay, so I'm gonna push this up with every knot and let's go a little faster. This one's actually very easy. It's very similar in a feel to like say a, a cobra knot, which is actually very easy to tie. So you want to make sure when you're tightening that you're being consistent. You want to keep um, these outer, these outer um, edges the same size because if you tighten one too much, the next one might be a little smaller, right? You want to keep everything lined up. Okay, so that is pretty much the pattern. So I'm going to continue tying and you can see our pattern, that rainbow pattern starting to form. That's what's so great and nice about this uh, paracord is that you get this really nice effect when you have, uh, let's move this up a little, when you have the colors going through, you can see that gradation, which is pretty cool. Okay, so continue tying and um, make your way down your bracelet and I'll show you how to finish it off near the end. All 
All right, so we're almost done. Uh, I don't think there's anything too special about finishing this one. We're just going to continue tying as much as we can. Don't think we're going to need any fids or anything special. So, unfortunately, um, just due to the nature of this rainbow paracord, we didn't get make our way to the pink color, so we don't have any pink in the bracelet. But um, you know that's okay. But uh, when you if you are using this paracord, do be aware. Um, that you may not get all of that, depending on the length of your bracelet, you may not get every single color in there. Okay, so, yep, that's it. I think this is okay, actually. Yeah, I think this is pretty secure like this. So, I'm going to snip and singe the ends here. Um, I'm just gonna snip and singe this one right here, and this one right here. The, night, the, the knot is pretty tight. Um, so I don't think we'll need to do anything extra. Okay, so we're gonna snip and singe our paracord here, and we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it, guys. We are done. So snipped and singed the excess paracord right there. Looks fine. Okay, and overall the effect of this uh, kind of tie-dye rainbow paracord looks really nice. You got that nice color gradation going through. And uh, again, you know, before you start this bracelet, you kind of, um, you might have to waste a bit of paracord, but you can take a section where you know you'll want, um, you know, certain colors incorporated just because due to the nature of the uh, paracord and the way it's manufactured, you get about a color for, I think, almost every foot or a little under a foot. So depending on the type of piece you use, you know, every bracelet's going to be different, right? So you can take that into consideration when you're making this bracelet. And that is it. Yep. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this has been the Rainbow uh, Curling Millipede. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Be sure to check out all my affiliate links on where to get the uh, Paracord products I use in the video, because every time you use those links, you are supporting this channel greatly. And that is it, guys. See you on the next tutorial video. Mm -hmm.